Okay, in this example, we're going to do another problem related to finding roots of complex numbers. And suppose we ask ourselves, uh, what is the sum of the square roots of 16i? So the first thing we'll have to do in order to use this formula is we need to re rewrite 16i as a, as a complex uh, number in polar form. So we can write this as, well, 0 plus 16i. Well, if you think about graphing that, uh, we don't really move anywhere along the, uh, the real axis, but we would go up 16 units. So there would be our complex number uh, 16i. So we'll have to do a couple things. Uh, we'll have to figure out the r value. But again, the r value would just be 0 squared plus uh, 16 squared. Well, there's no point in multiplying out 16 squared because when we take the square root, we'll just get 16 right back. Um, we would also have to think about our angle here, theta. But in this case, uh, I think it's pretty clear that theta would equal pi over 2 or 90 degrees. So it says we can rewrite our complex number, uh, 0 plus 16i. It says we can write that as 16 times the quantity cosine of 90 degrees plus i sine of 90 degrees. Okay, so this is kind of step one. Now we'll have to use the formula that we had on the, um, the very first page. So let me write this down. So 16 cosine of 90 degrees plus i sine of 90 degrees. All right, so now to find the square roots, we'll just go back to our formula. So it says to find the second roots, we'll take the square root of our number. So it says we simply take the square root of the number, so again, the second root. And then we take cosine, it says take whatever uh, your original angle was, which is 90 degrees. We'll add to that 2 pi k, but instead of 2 pi, I'm going to use, well, equivalently 360 degrees times k. This is all over n. Okay, we can even again fill in our n value though, because since we're taking a second root, in this case n equals 2. So let's go ahead and put a 2 in the denominator. And then we would have the same thing. We would have plus i sine of 90 degrees plus 360 degrees times k all over 2 and again k in this case it goes from 0 1 up to uh, n minus 1 well n minus 1 would be 2 minus 1 or again just we would go from k equals 0 uh, and k equals 1 so now we just have to evaluate things here so at k equals 0, well, the square root of 16, that's 4. Uh, when we plug in k equals 0, we'll be left with cosine of 90 degrees over 2, which will be 45 degrees, plus i sine. When we plug in k equals 0, again, the 360 times k will be gone. We'll have 90 over 2 for 45 degrees. Um, we'll also have to calculate it when we plug in k equals 1. So when we do k equals 1, again, we'll get the square root of 16, which is 4. Then we'll have cosine of, well, 90 degrees plus 360 degrees all over 2 plus i sine of 90 degrees plus 360 degrees all over 2. And we can simplify this down a little bit further. This would be 4 times cosine of, let's see, so 90 degrees and 360, that would be 450 over 2 would be 225 degrees, plus i sine of, again, 225 degrees. Okay, so again, we want to add these up. Um, I'm going to just simplify them down a little bit further. So k equals 0. Cosine of 45 degrees is going to be root 2 over 2. The same thing, sine of 45 degrees will be root 2 over 2. 
So when we distribute out the 4, we'll get 4 over 2, or 2 root 2, plus, uh, same thing, it looks like we'll get 2 root 2 times i. We could also simplify down when we plug in k equals 1. <coughs> so when we plug in k equals 1, we've got 4 times cosine of 225 degrees. Cosine of 225 degrees is going to be negative root 2 over 2. Sine of 225 degrees is also negative root 2 over 2. And in this case, when we distribute out the 4, we'll be left with, uh, well, negative 2 root 2. And then when we distribute the 4 to our second term, again, we'll get a negative 2 root 2 i. So those are our two um, our roots in this case. Well, if we add 2 root 2 plus 2 root 2 i, and we add our other root, negative 2 root 2 minus 2 root 2 times i, it looks like to me everything's just going to cancel out. And when we add those roots together, um, our final answer would just be 0.